prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are grateful. We are grateful, Lord, that one more time you have allowed us this space, this time to come together to worship you, to glorify your name, to lift your name high, because you are a compassionate God. You are a God full of grace and mercy that you reached down in our sinful Maya and lifted us up and placed us on higher ground. Heavenly Father, you, you sent your only begotten Son that he died, a humiliating death on our behalf that we may be reconciled with you. One more time, Lord, we ask you to abide with us. One more time, Lord, we ask you that you encourage us to abide in you. Because without you, Lord, we are nothing. So we ask you, Lord, to forgive us of all failings. Failings that we have done knowingly and failings that we have done unknowingly. We are grateful, Lord, for services that you have provided us throughout this week. Amen. Services that have encouraged us, services that have taught us, services that have revived our spirit and our faith. We thank you, Lord, for your man servant, that you have protected his health, that you have energized him, that you have given him the eloquence of speech throughout the week that he has spoken to your people. What we ask, Lord, is that one more time you allow him to speak before your people. What we ask, Lord, is that one more time you allow our hearts to be fertile soils, that when your heart, when your word reaches our hearts, it bears fruit. We are conscious, Lord, of our members. We have been not been able to make it throughout the week for various uh, situations. We ask you, Lord, that they don't be sound from the blessings of this revival series. Mm -hmm. We quest, Lord, for the unity within our three church, uh, churches. We cry, Lord, that as you did pray in living this earth, that we be united. Even as God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are united and are one in purpose, we ask, Lord, that at the end of this revival series, we shall be truly in one accord to minister in this district in the way that only you, Lord, would want us to. Amen. Not in our own personal or whatever agendas, but according to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So grant us, Lord, this request, for we ask them in no other name but the name of Jesus Christ. And the church say, Amen. Amen. Amen.
what we are seeking tonight in prayer is that God works in us. It's easy to hear a message like this and point it at another brother to say, tell them pastor. <laughs> but this is me standing in need of prayer. Yes. So I'm praying that God works in me.
for our hands and benediction. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Amen. The things that you have learned and received and heard, these do. And the God of peace be with you all. Amen. Amen. Amen.